Gobble Gobble, my gizzards, it's Deb from SVMTG, a.k.a. The Gravy Guzzler, and today we're going to we'll celebrate Toiky Day by going over a little Thanksgiving deck tech. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Hope you all get to have delicious foodstuffs at your gammy's house and all that, but today we're going to go over a little mono green food deck just to celebrate the season, but it's a good one. This is actually like a really fun deck, but it's pretty self-explanatory, like most of the cards make food, you know, Gilded Goose the most expensive card in the deck. This is really what's pushing the price of the deck up, but overall, the deck is like $35 or something. It's super budget, but it's fun to play. You know, we gotta play Gilded Goose because it makes food possibly more than once even. There's also Curious Pair to make food. Trail of Crumbs is a ridiculous magic card. In case you haven't been clued in yet, Trail of Crumbs is like the new hotness <laughs> in standard. For good reason, the card is just absurd. But there's also, which I tried to tell you during the spoiler season, I was like, Trail of Crumbs, y'all, mm, 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 looks good to me. <laughs> it, took, it took a minute, Oko had to be banned, and it turns out Trail of Crumbs is just a very stupid card advantage piece. So yeah, try to pl play that. <laughs> Maybe the best payoff in the entire deck. But Willing Champion is also like very stupid. It's so stupid because it just, it doesn't say like whenever a creature token, it just says whenever one or more tokens. So, uh, yeah, if you're able to, like, Woodland Champion turn two, Giant Opportunity turn three, well, you, you got a 5-5, five, five. whoops. So, that's, that's pretty good. You know, whenever you make a food with Gilded Goose, you get a plus one, plus one counter, and that's a pretty good engine right there, right? So, like, Woodland Champion is just absolutely, it's one of the keys of the deck. It's just a very silly magic card. But then there's Giant Opportunity, which sometimes just gives you a 7-7. Seven, seven. On turn three, which is it's good pretty good you know <laughs> turns out or if you're just like gilded goose and a giant opportunity go ahead and get yourself like three foods all together like, or two foods all together like that you know it's something to do but mostly we're kind of trying to get seven sevens out of this or make big woodland champions but it's just got a bunch of different modes on it it can also just like sort of gain you a bunch of life in the late game that can be good there's also a yorva which uh, probably doesn't look like it belongs that much but i wanted to fill out the three drop slot a little bit more than we had previously and, um, you know, originally I was playing, like, Paradise Druid, but we were, like, really salty, like, super saucy with the two drops, very heavy. And we didn't have enough threes, so instead I went with Yorva, and this is just, like, a, a big, dumb creature, so, yeah, why not, right? But there's also a couple of copies of Fish Witch Stalker, probably don't necessarily need to have this in the deck. I was running a copy of Kenris Transformation. Um, in this deck instead of the Fierce Witch Stalkers. But where there it is. This stupid thing is basically Oko's ability on a stick. Uh, it also draws you a card. So, you know, if you want to play some removal in the deck, it's a good option. But Witch Stalker just gives you more food as a big creature in its own right. And it's like fairly statted, sort of. Trample is important sometimes, too. There's also Wicked Wolf. You know, if you're looking for the good wolf in the deck, that's the one. So if you, if you have a million food out, which isn't actually hard, then Wicked Wolf can just, you know, kill anything and stay alive forever. So, you know, it's actually really important to have against, like, Kai's Wrath and other sweepers and whatnot. So keep that in mind. There's also Feasting Troll King. Oh, if TK, you know, it just puts a bunch of food into play. So um, that's pretty good when it comes to, like, again, Woodland Champion, you know, or just anything you're trying to make food for. But over the course of the game, you'll make, like, nine, ten foods. It's really not, like, super uncommon. So Feasting Troll King becomes, like, super hard to deal with for the opponent they have to kill it like three or four times and it just wins games so again one of the best cards in the deck but there's also rampage of the clans right here we're calling it rampage of the food this deck um just because this card is so it's so sneaky everybody again so there's games where you just make like 10 12 food even more some of the time um, if you don't, like, go willy-nilly sacrificing them or, like, sacking them to Giant's Opportunity or whatever. So, there's going to be some games you just have this, like, ridiculous surplus of food. Not to mention Trail of Crumbs. Out. And your opponent will swing in on you, or they'll just say go or something. And you can just turn all your food into three threes and, oh, my, did I just win the game? I think I won. That's crazy. Is it, what does that mean? So... It's just Rampage of the Clans. Probably could just be like a two of in this deck, honestly. It was a four of. I was drawing it way too often. Um, but, you know, especially lately, I still feel like I'm drawing it like way too much. So it could be a two of, but you really only need to cast it and resolve it one time in the game. And you, pr you pretty much win. So it's just it's a crazy piece in the late game to just draw off the top of your deck and suddenly win or, you know, engineer some sort of situation where you punk your opponent into attacking you and you're, oh, Rampage, what are you going to do? 
you know, or if they're if they you know deign to attack you, and you're able to get some blocks in or something and just not die, well then EOT rampage of the clans like instant speed was like such a mistake on this card. I know it's not like the most overpowered looking card in the world, but if you get an EOT rampage of the clans, it's like way better than like a dance of the mance or something. Um, in the late game for a lot of decks, because you'll end up having like way more food than the dance decks will have in their graveyard, you know. So, and it doesn't cost you anywhere near as much mana, instant speed, all that. It's just like such a hot card if you've got a bunch of food out. So, just a little piece of little piece of secret tech for you there. But there's just a lot of really strong cards in this deck for what the deck actually costs, which is next to nothing. So, I've been having some fun with it and actually winning some games too. So, let's go into on to Mount Garena, see if we can climb the summit with with food or or as it's as I've named it, food. But let's get in there. All right, here we go against Hal 922. Hal, Howie 922. Let's see what, was, see what we got here. Um, not a huge, not a huge fan of this opening hand. I actually think I'm going to mulligan this up despite the turn two trailer crumbs. What you, mm, it's not much better. But it's, it's something, right? I'll throw it back up Forest. That's a pretty easy decision, I think. Bop. We got a little curious pair, turn one action, then turn two Woodland Champion, turn three opportunity. So we have an opportunity here to make something happen. I'm going to drink a little not Starbucks coffee. I don't know. I began life with Starbucks coffee, but throughout the day I tend to, if we go to Starbucks, my wife likes the uh, pink drink there, so she she craves it every now and again. And we'll go to Starbucks and uh, I'll get a little, a little coffee, and then throughout the day I'll put my own creamer in it and I'll make my own coffee and refill it. So this is like no longer anywhere close to Starbucks coffee. So it's actually good now. <laughs> anyway, we lead on a food token. Opponent leads on Knight of the Ebon Legion. So what else they do? They're obviously some sort of knight's deck because they're playing tournament grounds. So we'll see what happens against uh, what is surely a fairly quick deck. But we are going to Woodland Champion on our turn two. And hopefully it doesn't die to a spell. That's what I'm hoping doesn't happen. Oh, it's about to. Oh, Black Lance Paragon. Should have kept that one cocked and loaded, I think. But they're just going to try to get in this turn. Probably going to let them, too. Probably going to let them. Oh, they're just going to get in with that one thing. Okay. Whatever. I'll go to 16. I'll go to 16. I'm probably going to have a fair amount of food out before this is all over. Woof, another night. Yowza. Bowza. All right. So this turn, it's like, do we Yorvo or do we Opportunity? Right. It's actually kind of tough. I think I could also Woodland Champion this turn and like continue to wait it out, but we'd have to go down to a fairly low fly total. Although they missed their land drop last turn, we'd probably take advantage of that somehow. Right, right. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, goodness. I'd really like to have both champions on the battlefield when we cast this giant opportunity, but that's going to be a few turns in the future. <laughs> if I Yorvo now, then I can get value out of the Woodland Champion next turn. I think that might be the right way to go. Don't you? I could also um, Curious Pair and then cast Giant Opportunity to get a 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh boy, Worthy Knight. Mm. That's not great. We didn't get a fourth land here. Which I probably would have liked. But what we can do is Woodland Champion and then Curious Pair, the Adventure Half. Put counters on both of our uh, champions. That seems pretty good. Yeah. That seems all right. Yeah, I could. Oh, they're going to scoop it up. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Didn't expect that. <laughs> Didn't expect that at all. All right. Notice that we made it into the Platinum Tears <laughs> with this deck. I've been playing a lot of this deck lately. And uh, Mono White Flyers. I've already told my patrons, but and a lot of people watching this video are patrons. <laughs> anyway, um, I've already told the patrons, but when I want like just free, <laughs> low effort wins, <laughs> I just play I just play Mono White Flyers lately. It's a ridiculous deck, you know, like Hushbringer, a Healer's Hawk, Linden, gain life against these mono red aggro decks and stuff. Usually win the races against them. I'm against Doom Foretold, they just like have to draw Sweeper. Same thing with Fires, they have to draw Sweeper, they lose. You know, like a lot of decks just aren't in a good position and like, you know, random jank that you counter on Arena is we usually win against. So it's a really good win percentage on mono white Flyers and it's like a $25 deck. But anyway, I should be paying attention. We can Gilded Goose turn one. It's good enough for me. We also have Giant Opportunity. Rampage of the Clans to do some work eventually. So that's pretty sweet. Let's go ahead and set the goose loose. Let the goose loose. Let's make turkey sounds whenever I play the goose this video. I think that's how a turkey sounds. Uh, my ex-brother-in-law, is that how you say that? He had an amazing turkey call. 
Because, oh, you're going to, here comes the goose. The goose is loose on both sides of the table. Oh, my goodness. We're just going to Woodland Champion this turn. And say good Genesis. No, you don't, don't attack, goose. That ain't what you're good for. <laughs> what else? What else you got? Flavio GSP. That's a dope name. Yumza. That's good coffee, y'all. All right. Do some. Oh, a witch's oven. Ah, I bite my thumb at you, sir. Verily. All right. So, forest. I really actually kind of want to trail of crumbs this turn, but instead I'm just going to try an opportunity. Well, if we trail of crumbs, right. Okay. So, let's think this out. We trail the crumbs this turn, we get another food, and that way we can giant opportunity to 7 7 next turn. So, is that what we want? I don't know, actually. If they, they got a witch's oven, and just blot the 7 7 and not, not give a crap, they probably have a cauldron familiar at some point, somewhere in their end, but I'm only seeing green mana so far. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just going <laughs> to giant's opportunity, or giant opportunity. I keep putting an S in that. Don't know why. But let's, let's get ourselves 5 5. And swing in with that big old billy club. What you got? Bat! You got a shot to the chops. That's what you got. Alright, let's see what they do on their turn three here. They have four men if they drop a land. Which is actually uh, bad. There's a swamp. They don't do anything. They do a whole lot of nothing. That's something, though. right? So, I'm going to trail of crumbs. And they're gonna scoop it. So we got two scoops in a row here of like like Raisin Brand. And actually I was really hoping we'd play more of that game so that I could rampage there because we were about to have five food tokens. Six after we activate Gilded Goose this turn. And then um Rampage is just like nasty. That's 18 total power on the battlefield if I'm doing my math. So that's, that would have been beautiful to put on camera, but you know. People be wanting to scoot before it's properly time. All right, let's try another one here. See if we can actually get like a real game in <laughs> with our with our Thanksgiving special. <clears throat> Quaff. I apologize for that. I had to turn my head and cough for that like I'm at the doctor. Oh, Raposa is our opponent for this. Uh, love it. All right, so. Not great. Not the bestest of opening hands is, but I'm going to go with it here. I'm going to turn one and two plays. That's a beautiful thing about Curious Pair. Although that's not it's not the best turn one and two plays in standard or anything. We did get the um, another forest here. I'd really like a third one. So we know Gingerbread Cabin will do the thing it's supposed to do. And Gingerbread Cabin can be really good when it's basically, you know, a plus one plus one counter on a champion or something. Or just another 3-3, three, three, you know. <laughs> it's a free 3-3 three, three some of the time with Rampage. So, And it may be that in this game. We'll have to see. Our opponent is on Simix. Oh, another gingerbread cabin. So we do we do, we do have the requisite number of forests. I apologize. That's uh, Curious Pair. They let us have it. I don't know what they were going to do there. But anyway. All right. All right, fine. Knuckle cracking way to start the game here. We got nothing next turn. <laughs> it's a problem with the. Uh, we're still low on three drops. We got like seven in the deck, and I'd like like two or three more. Honestly, let's drop another forest and <laughs> do nothing this turn. I guess we'll try and get in. I mean, if you want to return this curious pair to my hand with like a brazen borrower or something, that's fine. I'll cast it again. All right, you're going to cut throat, and then you're going to opt or something to kill my curious pair, but this is me not caring. <laughs> this is me not caring right here. Oh, no, you're just going to block. Or are you? Yeah, you're a spectral sailor. Do it. It's all right. I respect that. I never expect, whenever I see Simic, I still expect it's going to be some sort of ramp thing. Like, I forget that Simic Flash is like the other free win deck in standard right now. <laughs> it is, you know, I said that was mono white flyers, but honestly, Simic, Simic um, Flash is a brutal deck, especially if they get to go first, as they did here. So, that really matters a lot of the time. Hey, we got a Yorvo. That's pretty sweet. All right, so let's drop Gingerbread Cab. I wonder if we'll get this Yorva. I really, I bet it'll get mystic get its face mysticed off, and then we'll take uh, four, five, six, seven, eight next turn. 
and drop to eight, and that'll probably be our game. But, you know, you got to force them to have it. So, Yorvo. Resolves. Holy crap. Okay. Hmm. Brazen borrower. Right? <laughs> well, we'll see. A wild born preserver. All right. Hot dope. All right. And then an opt. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Brimeborn Cutter, it's a dumb card. I'm not saying ban it. Whenever I say this stuff's a dumb card, like, it's a problem with any content creator. Whenever someone says, like, oh, it's a dumb card, you get people in the comment section sometimes like, are you suggesting we ban it? No, I'm not. I'm not saying that. It's just, it's a silly magic card. But anyway, see what else I do? Nothing. I don't even drop a nothing. All right, so let's get uh, another food here. And let's continue to try to resolve spells, right? I mean, seems like that's correct. Let's see if they uh, frilled Mystic this. I'd be frilled if you didn't. Waka waka, you're gonna, you're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. Called it. All right. So they have a six five cut through it. So they'll be doing some swinging. It's like married couples in the seventies. They'll be doing some swinging. All right, so sweat begins to form on our brow here. They come on in. Let's snow blocks it. Let's snow blocks that hot potato. Let's see if they do anything else. They don't. So, the idea here would be to go with Feasting Troll King, right? What if they counter it? Then we probably just lose, right? So, what if we Trail of Crumbs and then try to Rampage of the Clans? Like, try to catch them Night Pack Ambushering or something at the end of our turn. And if they do, we can respond to it with Rampage. I'm going to try this just because it's, it's probably the more like high-impact play. And if they counter Trail of Crumbs, then we have, you know, three free three threes uh, that we probably get to resolve. All right, so they countered that. Cool. That's fine. No tax. I thought about it. Should I let them untap and draw before I rampage? Or should I rampage right this second? I'll let them try for it. I'm going to opt. They have no cards in their hand, so we know it's going to resolve. And we get big old dude. We go big old Yorvo man. So that's pretty sweet. And they don't cast another spell this turn, which is actually important. Can we turn it around? Resolve FTK on our turn. We might be able to do something here. It looked pretty bleak. A wicked wolf. Wicked wolf. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not swinging in. I'm just gonna feast and troll king this turn. What'd you got? What what'd you get? What'd you get, buddy? Nothing. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright, so Got a big old Yorvo now and a big old FTK. Just got to start actually, like, attempting to get in <laughs> at this point. Which I think I'll do. What if Night Pack Ambusher comes down, right? Which it just might. What if we lose Yorvo here? It doesn't actually hurt our board position that much compared to what it was last turn. 
Plus, they'll lose at least one creature in this exchange. Okay, so Ambusher did come down. Oh, if they play another spell, they'll just block uh, Yorva. But can they? Nope, let me just spend all their mana on Preserver. Block with Mystic. And that's it. Okay. Okay. Can we still play our way out of this game? We do have a Wicked Wolf in three foods, so that's at least a six toughness creature right there. Or we can get our FTK back once if we need to. Oh, they're just going to try to death of a thousand cuts here. One damage at a time. We get a forest, which is uh, not a great magic card to be drawing right now. Okay, so... It's just Wicked Wolf. Cross our fingers that it resolves. Oh, I don't know, boys. Ah, Sinister Sabotage, that's probably... Probably our game. Well, see, I would have really liked to, re to kill that Nypack Ambusher right there. That would have been just the best thing ever. But nope, nope, nope. And settle in, I would imagine, for a relatively long one here, I guess. Pass it up. They'll get in for one at least. <laughs> Maybe they'll get crazy here. Doesn't look like it. Steady, slow and steady there. <laughs> Just make three threes every turn. Wonder what these two cards are. That makes a huge difference what these two cards in their hand are. Of course I can just make this preserver huge too. Well, they decide not to, they're holding it up. If they do, you gonna do anything in response, dude? <laughs> no. All right, so our turn. Oh, repel! Oh, we draw a forest. What are you doing to us, Arena? Uh, oof! I don't like drawing forests. I really don't like drawing lands multiple turns in a row. But you know, that's that's our deck. Night pack. Night pack. We're probably gonna get game of here soon. I'm gonna draw one more card and see what happens. Cause there's just no way we can keep up with this kind of production. Six six preserver over there, and an eleven ten cutthroat. That's just that's hot. <laughs> that is a sexy brineborn cutthroat over there. Slow and steady. I respect. I respect what you're doing. Put us a ten. Get a four four. Hold your two cards. You gonna pump some some mana into that puppy? You gonna do it? Nah. Nah. You just gonna pass it up? Well, maybe they're thinking about it. I don't know. Either way, like I'm probably just gonna draw a land and say good game on <laughs> this one. Simic Flash gets the jump on you, man. That's that's the end of your day. So they are gonna tap two mana. I thought they might. I thought they might tap exactly two mana there. We get a feast and troll king. It could be worse, right? Let's, let's try and resolve it. Let's see what happens. Freeled mystic. Frowled mystic. Let's good game them. And let's contemplate. So what is that? Two and one? I just didn't want the entire video to be this game. And it wasn't it wasn't going to be. I think we were gonna lose here pretty soon. <laughs> like, what could have saved us there? Like a wicked wolf. Could have helped, but wouldn't have saved us. Their creatures are getting way too big. Um, geez, what else? I can't think of too much. Not really. A giant opportunity or two could have gotten us big enough creatures to you know keep blocking their stuff. But eventually, we would have died that game. I would imagine. So I just I'm not I'm not seeing it. 
I'm not seeing it. Maybe like Trail of Crumbs would have gotten us some card advantage, but again, it's going to be, it would have been really tough to keep up with their production there. So let's go against uh, Ro Renoa D underscore D here and see, see what we got. All right, so we can start the game. We actually go first. Wow, it just I just don't see that very often. We got uh, Killed a Goose and a Giant Opportunity if we want it. <laughs> That's kind of cool, I guess. Um, Rampage, a little bit later on in the game. Hopefully we get a Woodland Champion here to bridge the gap on turn two. But, you know, we can't, just can't guarantee something like that. So, <laughs> let's see. Let's see what happens. As soon as our opponent gets it together, Rowan Noah D. Trying to mulligan over there. Do it. Yeah, you didn't. All right. So, Forest. Gilded Goose. Got a Castle Garenbrig and a Gingerbread Cabin. I hate it. Thanks. I hate it. See what they're doing. They drop a forest. You can gilded goose. Edgewall Innkeeper. Okay. Maybe the actual best one drop in standard right now. So let's go forest. We have the number of forests that we need. These are the forests we're looking for. So trade one food for three. Yeah, or wait a turn. Might as well wait a turn, honestly. But what if you get a Yorvo next turn? Oh, it's going to suck, right? <laughs> we'll see. Or we get another giant opportunity we could have done too. Oh, that's going to suck, but we'll see here. I want to be able to have as many food as I can when I actually do cast this rampage. Whenever that's going to be another... Ooh. <sighs> another Edgewall Innkeeper. <laughs> Falmire Knight. Draw two. Do it. Oh, it's a love struck beast. Okay. Get your 1-1. One, one. Your piddling 1-1. One, one. Alright. It won't be for... We got a giant opportunity! <laughs> I called it! Kids all that we should have gone ahead and done it, everybody. We should have gone ahead and done it. Alright, so no attacks. This is going to be bad. It's going to be so bad. Sorry, we have 12 power on the battlefield, actually. If you want to look at it that way. So maybe Love Struck Beast won't be so bad. I think I'm going to do that. All right, so let's just... I don't know, block one of these. Who cares? Take our two to the Dome Ski. And now we know, by the way, that our opponent will do that, right? Like our, <laughs> our opponent will um, just swing with their guys uh, rather than be safe. So let's just end the turn. Let's try to bait them into something very silly here. Come on, opponent. Come on, opponent. Let me get this golden moment. Oh, that is even more pretty, isn't it? That's just great. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, they're coming in with everything, so uh, let's do this thing. <laughs> let's rampage here. All right, so we'll block, 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 block. 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 You know, leaving an innkeeper alive here isn't ideal. But I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I think it's probably the best line. I hate to leave a card advantage engine on the board for him, but... Decimates most of the rest of their board. Alright, so... We can FTK this turn. That's the way to turn a game around. Ladies and gentlemen, hotness. <laughs> That's exactly how we want a game to go right there. Just blow out their board state on turn four with some early game food production into Rampage. Then just drop FTK. Castle Garenbrig came through for us there, by the way. Thank you. C to the G. What you gonna do, opponent? Mm, turned it around there. But they still have six cards in their hand. Plus, like, they can, I don't know, murder Rider and then play it next turn and get a bunch of life, so... Well, or get a bunch of, uh, just a card advantage piece. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say. I've just, uh, I've had a lot of coffee today, <laughs> obviously. Another innkeeper! You draw six of them in your opening hand? <laughs> you somehow skirted the rules, you hacka? Are you a hacksaw? Got a Falmar Knight, that's a couple of cards right there. No, sir, I don't like it. 
You got another one? That would just be... Mm. Temple. Well, I guess you probably drew the temple off of the Falmar Knights. Okay. You can stop. Just to inform you of that, you can stop playing magic cards now. <laughs> Let us go. Legion Zen, that's how you do it. I like it. I like that play there. All right, you tapped out. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> Please. I don't even like Falmar Knight, like at all. Cabin. Yeah, resolve. Do it. Let's trample over. I'm sure I'm sure they'll block with Falmar Knight. But still gonna do a bunch of damage. We can get it right back, so whatever. Whatever. We can actually play both these cards this turn, which is pretty sweet. They're thinking about it. Should be drinking about it. Whoa, but alright, they're at six. So uh let's feast and troll king. Sack three foods. There they are. Submit three, we'll play a fierce witch talker after that. Whoa, 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 da, 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 da. Here comes a big wolf. Make food token in the gust of giant opportunity. I'm gonna pay three, pay three, woo, 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 woo. Sacrifice food? Or the two foods, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, whoop, dip, excuse me. I had to whoop, excuse me. I should. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Could have gotten a 7-7 there. Whoops. We'll see if that actually does matter greatly before this game is over. But we'll see. We'll see. I might have should have just, you know, kept our mana open there, made a food with Goose at the end of their turn or something. But we'll see. We got four foods, so if they somehow manage to, like, Murderous Rider, this Feasting Troll King, then we can still get it back, so... We're doing okay. They got four cards in their hand. They cast an adventure spell, and suddenly they'll have five cards in their hand. Oh, they're going to find. Lovestruck Beast and Falmar Knight. They can cast them both here. Here comes the Beast. Drawing cards. If you can cast both, you probably should have cast the least expensive one there, but who am I? Right, I've, I've misplayed on camera more times than I can count, so... <laughs> I guess who am I? I'm supposed, that's supposed to be my job. <laughs> but now they got a uh, completely full grip, seven cards, but they are tapped out here. Gingerbread cabin. That's funny. Swinging in. Swinging in. You're gonna triple block, or double block, excuse me. Bang, bang. Put him at five. Should have I attack with uh, Fierce Witch Stalker? Yeah, maybe. I probably should have done that. Sack, sack, sack. Feasting Troll King, you are a freaking boss, dude. You're so insane. Oh, let's put another food down on the tabla. Let's do it. Why not? Then let's, uh, it's in the turn. Let's do it. So we can make another food with Gilded Goose, and now we have, we'll have enough food to bring back Feasting Troll King again. So. But our opponent is drawing every card in their deck over the last couple of turns, so they probably have a Murderous Rider here, right? I mean, you have to. Unless you're just not playing Murderous Rider, but I refuse to believe that. It's Green Black Adventures. You could have not had the wild cards for Murderous Rider, but I also refuse to believe that because they... they this is an anomaly in my experience because adventurous players are just players playing black at all. Always have Murderous Rider. They just always have it. So I'm a little surprised not to have seen it yet here. Draw a bunch of cards. That's how you do it. Play the guitar on the MTV. All right. So play more cards. You got still got like six mana. This is where, like, the two of Nissa that you often see in this deck would probably really come in handy. We got a Q-Beast. P-Diddles.
Yeah, I'll block it. Because like if I don't, then it's just giving them free, you know, four free damage. If I swing him with free, um, excuse me, Witch Doctor next turn, they'll just block requesting these. So, uh, do it. Just do it. Even though I'm trading cards for with them is not the best thing right now. So, let's make a food token with the goose. Let's do it. Curious pair. Create a foot. Get in with the big boy. We got a fair amount of damage this turn, aren't we? <laughs> Excuse me. How many cards do you even have left? 36. Okay, that's an awful lot. So. We have 46. So they have been drawing. They have, they have greatly outpaced us. They have drawn 10 more cards than us this game. They're thinking. They are thinking. They have to block with like three dudes this turn to not die. Paradise Druid, Falmar Knight, Falmar Knight. That is the correct block. <laughs> All day. You nailed it. Wait. Did you just... Am I missing something? You're gonna die, right? Yeah. Okay, well, that... All right, well, we knew they had to block with three creatures. Apparently they didn't, or they were just done with the game, right? <laughs> just say, ah, get me out of here. So what do we go, three and one with, uh, <laughs> with the Rampage of the Food deck? I told y'all, this deck is actually, like, kind of serious. Uh, if you want to see me play with a little bit more, I will. Just let me know. I'll kick another video out because, like, I've been playing with this deck for almost a week now, just straight. Again, like, the only deck I've been playing besides this and decks I've had to do for the channel. Uh, is um, the Mono White Flyers deck, which is, again, if y'all want to see that, let me know down there in the comments section. I'm thinking about making it a dank jank deck because it just, like, it, it won't win polls. <laughs> it refuses to win the Patreon polls. So if you want to see it in dank jank form, then let me know. But, yeah, that was Rampage of the Food. And, again, there's different ways you could, you know, build this deck. But for the most part, like, the, the, the pieces you need to play are, are very clear. You know, Gilded Goose, Trail of Crumbs, which we saw it got no value. This, in these games, but it's actually one of the best cards in the deck. Woodland Champion, we saw that pop off. Giant Opportunity, good in a couple of ways over these last few games. Yorvo, actually, not too bad. Fierce Witch Stalker, again, you don't have to play it, but it's okay. Rampage of the Clans, we actually did see it go off once. In another game where it would have, would we have gotten one or two more turns? Wicked Wolf, crazy card, we all know that. Feasting Troll King did probably most of the heavy lifting in these games today so yeah if you liked it then check the link in the description go to tcg player pick it up because again this deck is really cheap like this deck is so much cheaper than it has any right being and it's a great like fnm or just like casual deck i don't know that i'd take it up to like a real event or anything but it's obviously got some real power if you want to play it on arena give it a shot because like it's obviously so much fun you make like five or six foods by like turn four in so many games so crazy deck give it a shot i highly recommend it but aside from that just you know like the content if you liked it um subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet check out the patreon if you want to vote on what decks you want to see get signed cards and all that you know i do send out like rares and mythics in my signed card batch um some patrons will attest to that so if you want some from you know some stuff you know join join the patreon um, and yeah, hope y'all have a good Thanksgiving and I hope y'all had fun with this video. So yeah, I'm dead from the place and I guess pretty much done for this one. I'm going to continue my fast until tomorrow or I'm just going to eat all of it. I'm going to eat all of it, y'all. I'm going to do it. So wish me, wish me luck and hopefully I'll still be alive on Friday. <laughs> I'm not in some sort of food coma to do a to do a deck tech for you. Um, in case you haven't seen that, there is a poll going on on the Patreon right now. Ends uh, Thursday Thanksgiving at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So if you haven't voted in it yet, make sure you do that. But I hope you enjoyed this one. And uh, yeah, happy Turkey Day, everybody! Gobble gobble. I'm dead from the place. Thanks for watching, my wizards. Spread love and be kind. <laughs>